What is the party telling you right now? We know that they were releasing uh, some information, nothing final. Uh, there seems to be some flux about which delegates, which votes are still outstanding. Chris, I think you probably know more than I do. We just, we just got off the plane. We haven't studied. But obviously, we'll be in contact with the party tomorrow. But bottom line for us, look, we started that campaign, you know, 40, 50 points behind. Uh, whether we lose by a fraction of a point, or we win or we, whatever, uh, we're very proud of the campaign that we won. And I think the significance is that for folks who did not think Bernie Sanders could win, that we could compete against Hillary Clinton, I hope that that thought is now gone. Uh, we're going to fight really hard in New Hampshire, and then we're going to uh, Nevada, and then we're going to South Carolina. We look forward to doing well around the country. Do you take this as a victory regardless of what the margin is? Absolutely. Look, what you're talking about is one way or the other, a couple of delegates when we're going to need 2,300 delegates to win this thing. So maybe we lost by two, maybe we lost by one, maybe by zero, whatever it may be. Uh, but what this shows is that this campaign has started in a very forceful way, uh, starting way, way back and coming to a virtual tie. Uh, and we are going to fight here in New Hampshire. Look forward to winning here and doing well around the rest of the country. Two things seem clear in the exit polls. I want your take on them, Senator. The first is there was an expectation that this would be a national security election because of recent events uh, and just the state of affairs. It seems that uh, the idea of economics and what the security for the future is economically and as a country seems to loom as large, if not larger. Look, national security is always a major issue when we're dealing with barbaric organizations like ISIS. But on the other hand, the truth is that the average American understands that there is something wrong when the middle class continues to decline and almost all new income and wealth is going to the top 1%. And I'll tell you something else, Chris. What I found in Iowa, and not just from Democrats, but from conservatives, from Republicans, there is profound anger at a campaign finance system which allows billionaires to buy elections. Nobody likes that. What does it mean to you that as voters get younger and as their in income moves more into the middle class, your numbers got bigger and bigger right. in the preliminary information? I am, well, number one, in terms of working class people who are gravitating to our campaign, that's what this campaign is about. It's asking working people and middle class people to stand up and fight for their rights, help us take on a billionaire class whose greed is doing so much damage to our economy. Second of all, in the last election, the midterm election, 80 percent of young people didn't vote, 80 percent. I am very proud that we're bringing a whole lot of young people all over this country into the political process, that we're revitalizing American democracy. And if we're going to change America, that's what we've got to do. What is your message to older voters uh, who did not come out for you in the same numbers? Right. No, that's true. And my message is, check my record. You'll find that there is no United States senator who has been stronger on senior issues, uh, not only on defending Social Security, but on the need to expand Social Security benefits. People can't make it on twelve, thirteen thousand dollars $13,000 a year Social Security. Uh, second of all, very few, if any, members of the Senate uh, have been stronger on the need to take on the pharmaceutical industry and end this disgrace of Americans paying by far the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs. Areas of minorities have also not been a source of strength for you so far compared to Senator uh, to Secretary Clinton. What's the message there? Well, I think I, I haven't looked at all the results, but I think in Iowa, is, is from what I saw in, in one of the papers, we actually did pretty well. We lost. But that gap is uh, growing slimmer and slimmer between the secretary and myself. I think you will find as we get to South Carolina and other states uh, that when the African-American community, the Latino community looks at our record, looks at our agenda, we're going to get more and more support. What was it like to be there with your family it was and have this night. moment? Tonight was a thrilling night, you know, certainly one of the important political nights in my life, and we feel great. Senator, thank you very much. Good luck going forward.